Good evening, Janet. Good evening, Mario. Good evening, Martiel. Good evening, Abigail. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Janet. How are you today? Uh, fine, thank you, teacher. Did you have a good day? Was it a good Friday? Today is Friday. Yes. Did you have a good Friday? Very good. Very good. That's nice. Hi, Carla. Hi, Marilyn. How are you doing? Okay, Marilyn, I hope that you get better soon. Thank you for letting us know um, that you're not feeling very well. So uh, thank you so much for joining today's section for being early. Um, I know, let's see, we are just seven, but um, we are going to start. Let me start with an idiom for today. Remember that our topic that we are studying is the restaurant industry. And we've been talking about the food, drinks, etc. And there is an idiom. And the idiom said, it's not my cup of tea. What do you think that it's the meaning of it's not my cup of tea? When something is not your cup of tea? No idea? No idea? Okay, I'm going to wait for you to be ready to participate. Okay, so what do you think is the meaning of that idiom? I wrote it in the meeting chat. It says, it's not my cup of tea. What does it mean? Do you have any idea? When something is not your cup of tea, what does it mean? Carlos, do you have any idea? So you say, I don't know. Carlos said that he doesn't know. Okay, I will give you one example.
Okay. Uh, okay, everybody. I wrote an example in the meeting chat. It says, I love cooking, but I hate doing the dishes. It's not my cup of tea. So now, what do you think the idiom refers to? Ah, now I understand. Are you have an idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Excellent, Victor and Carlos. Uh huh. It's when it's something that you don't like. So I'm gonna share the screen, and this is here. Let me show you. Okay, here it is. It's just, uh, it's funny. It's just tea, no thanks. <laughs> and we have it in this idiom. I like to study English. This is another example. I like to study English, but I don't like math very much. It's not my cup of tea. And then we have the explanation. When something is not your cup of tea, you don't like it. What's not your cup of tea? Volunteers, what's not your cup of tea? Can you write some examples? I will give you time. I will give you time for you to write examples of what's your, not your cup of tea. Okay, remember that after like, we can say to, I like to, um, I like to, or I like plus verb plus ing. Uh-huh. So Abby says, I love washing my clothes, but I hate doing the ironing. It's not my cup of tea. Uh-huh. Very good, Abigail. Good try. And Carla, yes. She said, terror movies aren't really my cup of tea. The horror movies. Yes. Yeah, they cause nightmares. Mm -hmm. That's it. Excellent. So horror movies is, are not your cup of tea. Uh huh. It's basically when something uh, uh, doesn't like you. You don't like something. Do we have more examples? Sorry, teacher. Um, preguntar en español. Uh -huh. este, siempre que ponemos así como ese que dice, I like 
to study English, but I don't like much, very much. Siempre se le tiene que agregar, it's not my cup of tea. Ajá, porque ese es el, el idioma, el idioma. Um, es como decir, no es lo mío, no me gusta, uh -huh. no es lo que a mí me gusta, no es algo que me guste. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Esa parte no la había entendido, pero ya la entendí. Gracias. Thank Ajá. You. Y después de like, <coughs> love y hate, si vamos a poner un verbo después de like, love y hate, tiene que ir to más infinitivo o con ing. Okay. Por ejemplo, I love washing my clothes o I love to wash my clothes. Very good. Uh, de esta forma repasamos y reforzamos. You see that your participation is really important. Thank you so much for participating. Abigail, Carla, Ivania, Carlos Humberto. Thank you so much. Let's see. Any other samples? Do we have more examples? No more examples? I like to drive. I like in to the drive. morning. In the morning. In the uh -huh. morning. But I don't like the traffic. It's not my cup of tea. Okay, excellent. I think nobody likes traffic, <laughs> especially Fridays, right? On Fridays, it's, it's, it's heavier for some yeah. reason. Okay, so I'm happy to see that, well, at least half of the class is ready. So let us continue with our next slide. We now we learn an idiom and it's related to food. So that's funny. Now, um, we have a couple of words here. We have a plan, advertising, research, marketing, strategy, teamwork, customer, analysis, promotion, sales. What are they, uh, oh, in which way they are related? What are we, what we are going to discuss today? Any idea? We will be discussing marketing strategies. We are going to be discussing about advertising strategies. And we have a vocabulary that we can use in, in this topic. So for example, plan, advertising, research, uh, is there any of this word new for you? No new words? Let me know if there is a new word for you here in this group. No new vocabulary? Oh, Mario uh, wrote an example. Let's see. I like most type of music. Papa, no, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> Excellent, Mario. Good example. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, it's not my cup of tea either. Magdir says advertising. Advertising. Is that a new word for you, Magdir? Advertising. Advertising, okay, yes. Advertising is um, uh, anunciarse. Mm -hmm. Anunciarse. Uh, forma de anunciarse. Let's discuss some ways of, uh, of advertising. Is TV. On TV, commercials on TV. Mm -hmm. Flyers, social media. Flyers, social media, uh huh. Movies. Uh huh. TikTok is the most used platform. Oh, yes, platform 
TikTok is, is a, yes, some uh, companies or businesses, entrepreneurs are using the uh, TikTok as a way of, as a, you know, of advertising. Mm -hmm. In Facebook? Which one? In Facebook? Oh, Facebook. Facebook, yes, is a part of social media. And some people use that to advertise their businesses. Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you say periódico? Newspaper. Ah, I'm going to write it in the meeting chat. Newspaper. 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 Thank you. Ah, yeah, the newspaper. But I, I think the newspaper is going to dis disappear very soon. Don't you think, Sing? Yes, and some businesses used to advertise through the newspaper. That is correct. Any other idea of ways of advertising? In the radio? radio? Yes, on the radio. Yes, through the radio. Any other? Banners. Mm -hmm. Banners. It's another way it's of advertising. Screen public or public screen. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Uh, they are distracting. I don't like them. <laughs> if they can, <laughs> uh, yes. For example, against them. Uh -huh. in uh, Salvador del Mundo. In Salvador del Mundo, yes. I it might cause an accident. Yes. Mm. Did you? Did you have an accident because of that? No? But I, I consider they are dangerous. They are distracting. Okay. Any other way of advertising? With flyers, yes, flyers are very common. Mm -hmm. Any other? Este, también cuando se ponen las edecanes a promocionar un producto, no sé cómo se dirá en inglés ese caso. Ah, yeah, with promoters. Mm -hmm. They use models, uh, influencers, something, uh-huh, yes. Some companies, oh, this is it, okay. Any other idea? Of marketing strategies? Office. Mm -hmm. With promoters? Uh-huh, with promoters, uh-huh. What about this one? Sampling? Did you know that one? Uh, the meaning of that one? Sampling? No? Yes, uh huh. Magdiel says muestras, uh huh. That's correct. Sampling is 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 el dar muestras, is, uh huh. Muestras or uh, some other word, similar word is tester. Mm -hmm. Testers. Mm -hmm. Any other? Pop up. Mm hmm correct. Okay, there are a huge variety of marketing strategies that businesses can implement. Okay, now let's move. Here we have some of them. Look, offline, 
Offline marketing for restaurant. What comes to your mind with this? Offline marketing for restaurant. We've been discussing about online, right? Online can be through the use of social media, etc. But offline, offline sería nada que ver con eh, como eh, nada que ver con el uso de internet, verdad? Fuera de línea. Ah, también existe el mar el marketing fuera de línea. Eh, y para restaurants. Eh, Lo más común es like um, food festivals, advertisements, flyers, promotion, bloggers, radio, in-house marketing, TV, pamphlets, Partnerships, events, food guide listing, and merchandising. Is any new word for you here? Uh, como mercadotecnia. Mercadotecnia. Uh -huh. Merchandising. Como, marketing. como cuando salió la película de Mario Bros. Que... Salieron un montón de camisetas, que gorras, que calcetines, que muñequitos y todo eso. Yes. You're right. And now everybody's singing peaches. <laughs> peaches everywhere. Nice. Yeah, that was very nice. Okay. Me parece que de los bloggers no creo que sea un medio fuera de línea porque los bloggers siempre necesitan página de internet para, para mm. la reseña pero la hay reseña. bloggers para revistas también mm. uh -huh. bueno, no, que ya no es muy usado eso ya no mucho pero sí Ajá. tal vez queda para la gente de que somos como de la vieja escuela cuando iban al salón de belleza y, y veían las revistas yes <risa> maybe Yes, for old school people, yes, still can read blogs in the newspaper or in the magazines. Mm -hmm. Yo fui uno con los de las revistas de, de Nintendo. Oh, you see, ajá. Uh -huh. Y en esos, en esos magazines, a veces hay blogs de pequeños secciones de blogs de en donde pues hacen sus valoraciones de otras cosas y, y así. But yes, that's quite interesting. So let's continue. Then what does this picture refers to? What comes to your mind? Do you recognize all those icons? Uh, sky is uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, Google Plus, Vimeo, Instagram, uh, Blogger, uh, otro, Evernote. And this one, this bread with a P? Uh, Pinterest. Pinterest. Uh huh. Okay. And what about this pink with this? Uh, it looks like a like a basketball. It's it's new for me. <laughs> I don't know which one is this. Anybody knows? No. No? I don't know. <laughs> and what about this one with the, I think it's an elephant. Evernote. Uh, Evernote. Okay. And this, it looks like an eight. A, blog, a blogger. Oh, blogger. Okay. And this one, the IGG. <laughs> okay. As, as you can see, I'm, I'm not into social media. <laughs> okay, nice. And I think it's the, the most common um, way of advertising nowadays. Okay, now uh, these are like marketing uh, strategies or tips, things that can help with this. Um, 
all these slides, uh, the purpose is for you to have ideas and the vocabulary to what is coming, okay? Let's see, it says improve. Okay, number one, it says make your website mobile friendly. Some of them are really complicated, right? The websites are like not really friendly, difficult to um, understand how do they work. So yeah, that is a good tip. Make your website mobile friendly. Um, number two, who wants to read the number two? Volunteer to read. Oh, I'm sorry. Volunteer to read number two. No volunteers? Uh, improve local search ranking. Thank you, Carlos. Number three. Both your reviews are rankings. Thank you so much, Palmore. Number four. Respond to every revive. review. Thank you, Julissa. Number five. Post actively on your social media accounts. Very good. Thank you, Victor. Number six. Send regular email reminders and promise. Thank you so much, Abigail. And number seven. Volunteer for number seven. Who are your loyal customers? All right. Thank you so much for helping me with reading. Uh, now, is there any new vocabulary or some or any of these uh, tips is not clear for you? Is everything clear? Okay, I guess it is. Now, moving on, we have on page 14. Let's see, what do we have on page 14? For this, we will be able to describe an action plan to introduce a new item on, on a menu. Remember that we, in the previous slides, We've been studying vocabulary related to this. That's why I include them in the presentation because we'll be describing an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu. Um, and we have these questions. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? I'll give you time for you to answer those two questions in the part number one. Let's start. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? And second question, what do you think about giving free samples of new products? I'll give you time for you to write your answers or think of your answer for that, those two questions.
Okay, uh, volunteer to share. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? And what do you think about giving free samples of new products? Volunteers? Nobody did um, the exercise or you need more time? Teacher. Yes. Este, en la primera pregunta, teníamos que escoger exactamente de los que estaban ahí, porque yo hice como una mezcla. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first, um, advertise the new products, share information in social media uh, about a new menu, and give free samples. Sounds like a good action plan. And what do you think about giving free samples of new products? Yeah, for me, I think it's good because let the customer know the product for themselves. Yes, and everybody loves free things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Cecia. Yeah, you did a very nice job. Thank you for sharing thank with you. us. Is there anybody else who would like to share? No? In my case. Yes, Abby. Implement provide free food samples of your new products. For example, the tecleña. Uh -huh. um, and you use social network services to share the information about your new products. A, give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customer after a recent visit. Mm. That sounds really interesting. And now, what do you think about giving free samples of new products? What do you think? Anybody else? Any other ideas? Okay, I'm going to check attendance. So let's listen. Let me get the file. Okay, when you listen to your name, please say present Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you so much. Valmore Alexander Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemí Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Elba Melanie Orellana.
Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Janet Fernanda Cortés. Janet Fernanda Cortés Durán. Yulisa Yamilet Vialta. Present teacher. Thank you, Yulisa. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Beatriz Rivera Reyes. Present, Miss. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you. Magdiela Saúl García. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Ok, Marilyn eh, está por ahí, pero creo que no se siente muy bien. Eh, let's continue then with Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Janet Ángel. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Cristina, escribe en el chat, creo, a lo mejor no tiene señal. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Víctor. Ok. Oh. Let's continue. Let me continue sharing. Okay, here we are. Now, it says read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategies you would consider implementing. Uh, volunteer to read the strategies. Hi. Thank you, Hazel. Uh, provide free food, sampling of your new product, add new items to your website, use social network sites to share the information about your new product, advertise the products in the white space of their um, recipe. receipt. Ah, sir, receipt and give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. Recent. Recent. Ah, uh -huh. Okay, recent visit. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading. Thank you, thank you. Um, is there anything that is not really clear here in the strategies? Is everything clear? No new vocabulary? Is the when you say advertise the products in the white space of recipe? Or re, I, of the receipt? Ajá, uh -huh, ahí se refiere como a este, como a vallas publicitarias, algo así. O, mm. o, o productos como, no sé. Mm, no. Eso no, no es muy común creo porque quizás es algo eh, caro pero eh, o consideran quizás que no no sé pero ajá hay algunos eh, recibos algunos tickets digamos que en el espacio en blanco tienen algún tipo de publicidad ¿Mm? ok el recibo que es o sea digamos cuando pagan ese recibo ajá el recibo que le dan a usted cuando paga por ejemplo, eh, Pollo Campero creo que estuvo un tiempo haciendo que en el recibo, en la ticket que a uno le dan cuando uno ya pagó, eh, lo ponen que vaya a una encuesta. 
Ah, ajá, y si llenan esa encuesta le dan algo gratis, ajá. Ah, ok. Algo similar se puede, en algunos lugares lo hacen para eh, promocionar algún producto o para saber cómo, qué le parece a la persona, eh, lo que acaba de comer, lo que acaba de probar y en base a eso ellos van como modificando, ¿verdad? El producto, el menú, la receta, etcétera. Entonces, a eso se refiere el aprovechar ese espacio en blanco de los recibos. Ya he visto otros recibos que en la parte de atrás trae como las marcas, digamos, eh, que, que ellos venden o que distribuyen, depende del caso. Pero hay quienes aprovechan el recibo para meter publicidad ahí. Ok. ¿Any other question? Ok, now, um, what strategies would you consider implementing to introduce a new menu item? A volunteer? Teacher, sorry. Please yeah. repeat the question. Uh, if of, okay, we have five strategies here, a list of five. The exercise is to check the ones that you would implement or the ones that you would consider to implement to introduce a new item to a menu. Thank you. You're welcome. I think, uh, well, at least for me to introduce a new item, I think it is a good idea to provide free food sampling of the new product. I would do that. Uh, give uh, customers free samplings. Mm. And give a promotional offer that includes the new item. I think only those two would be enough for me to introduce a new item to a menu. But this is my opinion. That is what I would do. Now, what about you? What would you do? Of these five, which ones would you implement? Volunteers to share ideas? I consider implementing advertise the products in the white space of the recent receipt and a view it into your website and provide free food samples of junior products. Okay, nice. Thank you, Abigail. So you would implement three out of the five. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Any other volunteer? Use social network right? to share the information about, about new products. It's only one? Yes, yo creo que como trata de restaurantes, lo más usado eh, eh, actualmente es usar las redes sociales para mostrar el producto. Yes, okay. I agree with you. Excellent. Thank you so much, Victor. Anybody else? For me, teacher, use social network site to share the information about your new product. 
add new item to the your website and provide free food samplings of your new products. Excellent. Sounds like a good action plan. Thank you so much for sharing, Cecilia. Anybody else? Okay, let's continue then. Now, let's look at this uh, exercise. It is on page 14 as well. It is um, in number three, it says, these are examples of steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. Um, letter A, it says, what? action or change will happen. Letter B, who will carry it? Now, letter C, when will it take place and for how long? Letter D, what resources are needed to carry out the change? And letter E, communication, who should know what? Now we have to um, match the letters with what we have here in part B. Number the follow steps for the action plan. It says that drink would be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Then the chef created the receipt for the drink the manager approved of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Next, advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the step to complete the introduction of the drink. Next, the manager requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. And the last one, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Now we have to match of uh, the questions, the letter of the questions with uh, the part B that I just read. I'm going to give you time for you to do the matching and then you can share your answers. Remember that you can type uh, your answers on your material. And this is on page 14. I'll give you time to complete this exercise.
Ready? Are you ready? Who wants to share the answers? Or you need more time? Level B. Uh, a new print is going to be introduced to the meaning. Okay. Uh, we are matching. No, a new drink. Letter E. A. Sorry. Okay. So you said that the last one here is letter A. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Excellent. That's correct. Letter C is the new, new uh, in uh, primera. The first one. The first one. Okay. So you said that the first one is letter C. It's correct. Yes. Letter B. The chef created the recipe for the drink. The manager approved of it and the adverse that will <laughs> yes that's correct excellent so next um, communication yes Letter D. Which letter? D. E? Uh, no, no. E. Letter E. Okay. Correct. Excellent. E. Letter D. The manager requests extra funding. The manager requested an extra funding for this product. And the drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Uh-huh. Okay, you did an excellent job. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And yes, those answers are correct. We have C, B, E, D, A. That's what everybody should have, and it's correct. Mm. Okay, now. Next exercise says, in pairs, use the steps above as an example to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant. Define the strategies you would use in your action plan. Okay. Uh, it says in pairs. Exercise four says in pair, but we can discuss it in groups and then you would present to the class what is your plan to introduce the new product. Remember, we have been studying vocabulary for this, and also we have the ideas that we have already um, defined and match this exercise. Let me stop sharing, and I will create the breakout rooms for you to design your action plan. Okay, there you go.
¿Qué le podríamos poner? Um, banana cake. Banana cake. Banana cake. O oh, carrot cake. It's delicious. <laughs> ya está. Bueno, excelente, <laughs> pero podemos ponerle algo más, no sé. Algo okay. que sea fácil de identificar, que no persona no es, o algo así. Perdón, I'm sorry. Puede, puede ser algo que sea fácil de identificar, que sea algo nuevo. Como para salir de lo común. Bueno, a mí ah, se me okay. ocurría así como un pan de banano con este con una cubierta de chocolate amargo. Ok, entonces, ok. And so, um, banana cake with, um, how do you say cubierta? Co coverage. Coverage, ok. With coverage chocolate. Yo me dice, no, cubierta cover. Cover, ok. Is, ok. Um, banana cake with teacher. Sorry, um, me quedé sin internet, me sacó. Y cuando vine a entrar, ya estábamos haciendo los grupos. Entonces, no sé qué es lo que tendríamos que hacer ahorita. Si ¿Sí vamos a practicar algo. No, no le escucho el teacher. Ah, ok, sorry. Está <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Ok, ladies. Um, the exercise is uh, this one. Uh, estuvimos haciendo este. Uh -huh. Estos son los pasos como eh, un plan de acción para introducir un nuevo eh, item a un menú. Entonces se discute quién lo va a llevar a cabo, quién lo hará y todo eso. Entonces ustedes tienen que pensar que, que um, escribir un plan para introducir un nuevo eh, item, un nuevo producto a un menú. Definir la estrategia que van a utilizar en su plan de acción. Solo pueden escribir ahí, compartir ideas, cómo introducirían ustedes un nuevo item a, a un menú. Por ejemplo, digamos que yo quiero meterle pastel de zanahoria a un menú. Entonces voy a disfrazar a alguien de conejo y lo voy a poner a dar muestra gratis eh, y todo eso. Y que, qué es lo que va a tener de especial este pastel. El chef debería de hacer algo... Eh, extraordinario, no sé, este, eh, así como está aquí, ¿verdad? ¿Quién lo va a hacer? Esta es parte de quién lo va a hacer, quién lo va a llevar a cabo, quién va a hacer qué, ¿ok? El chef va a presentar una receta eh, innovadora, por ejemplo, de un pastel de zanahoria. Eh, el manager va a, a gestionar los los fondos para dar muestra gratis a los clientes. Eh, la, el personal de marketing va a, a estudiar eh, alguna promoción o algún descuento o alguna manera en la que se pueda incluir ese nuevo item para que la gente lo, lo, lo conozca, ¿verdad? Y, y lo pidan. Algo así, alguna estrategia para introducir un, un nuevo item a un menú. Y pues ahí tienen algunas ideas en el ejercicio anterior, en este ejercicio 3. Y también lo que hemos estado haciendo en el 2 y lo que había anteriormente en el PowerPoint. Esto les puede servir también. Eh, por ejemplo, qué es lo que van a utilizar. 
eh, si van a invitar a un blogger o, o van a llevar un influencer o qué es lo que van a hacer para promocionar ese su nuevo item que estaría en el menú. Is that clear? Pueden hacer como una lluvia de ideas entre el grupo e ir tomando notas y para después compartirlo con la clase. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Vaya. Creo que primero hay que definir el producto que vamos a lanzar. Sí, así es. Y después el departamento que estará encargado o algo así. Uh -huh. Pero vamos a ponerla. Pero antes que nada, ¿qué empresa somos? <ríe> Fast Foods, creo que dijo comida rápida. No sé si escuché bien, pero. No hacemos de F. Creo que hay más ideas para eso. ¿Cuál página es? La 14. 14. Estoy muy arriba. Sí. De la presentación o del ah, manual. No. Del manual, es la 14, ahí está esa información. O sea, la pero... tiene en la mano. Para sí, compartir. pero así impresa. Ah. Él lo imprimí. De la presentación es la lámina 13. La 13. Oh. No, descargué entonces el, el, el equivocado. No, pues compártanlo. Ya tienen el, con, Creo que descargué el otro. Okay, bye 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 Ustedes lo tienen descargado. Sí, es que yo lo intenté proyectar, pero no, no puedo del teléfono. Me dice que no es compartible. Pero si gusta, ¿Vale, el de la presentación. <risa> Yo tengo el, el, el PDF. Aquí está.
este es el Bueno. PDF, solo que aquí no se podría editar. No, es que vamos a hacer otro. Eh, con eso solo nos vamos a guiar. Ahí dice, eh, introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant. Lo que podríamos hacer es ajá, introducir un... A new, a new desserts. Ajá, No. puede ser como para lo del Día de la Madre, ahorita que estamos en mayo. Un nuevo postre. Sí. Ese sería el primero, a new... Eh, A new desserts. dessert. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué tipo? What kind of dessert? Eh, después sería de poner la, la parte donde dice the, the drink, pero sería the dessert will be available during Mother's Day. In a promotion Ajá. that continues eh, through the end of May, podría ser, hasta el final de mayo. Sí. Pero sería un, un postre de qué tipo? O sea, sería como un, un postre de chocolate o un cheesecake, no sé, o un flan o O de frutas, le gustan más a las madres. fruta. Eh, Como entonces sería una tarjeta. a new fruit dessert. No, postre de frutas. Could be, could be. Fruit dessert. Entonces sería lo primero. A new fruit dessert. Sí. It's going to be introduced to the menu. Ese es el que, ¿verdad? Luego sería quién, quién lo llevará a cabo. Sí. Quién lo llevará a cabo sería... Estaba para para mí. Pero que está bien el lado. No, ya se salió. Ya se salió. Abre una palabra así como decir. Ajá. Reposter. Hello. O sería el mismo chef. Uh, baker. Abre una baker. Ajá, sería como el panadero o panadera, la persona que hace lo, lo, lo de los panes, baker. Baker. Ya les escribo en el chat. Baker. The break it created. The baker create create the recipe. the receipt for the address the search. The sip is como No sé si es correcto, pero es como la receta. Sí, yo creo que sí. Recipe. Recipe. For the... Ajá. Se escribe recipe. Recipe. Recipe for new. Uh -huh. Ahí se la escribí en el meeting chat también. New. Mother desert. Algo así. Number three, when es lo que dijo la compañera the motor the desert will be.
during Mother's Day. In a promotion. That continues through May. What resources are needed to carry out the change? Um, si ponemos como teacher, la directiva o algo así de la empresa management of the company management of the company uh -huh. mm -hmm. of the company of the restaurant yeah. Uh -huh. The restaurant request extra fund for this project. And five um, communication. Ahí sí podremos usar la de arriba. Las que vimos. Dale un poquito para arriba, Vika. Serían esas de aquí arriba, podríamos utilizar. Ajá. Creo que sería más fácil poner la que hice, la de las social networks, solo como para hacer la, la promoción. Y social si networks. Regala, porque si regalamos el producto, no vamos a vender. <risa> no vamos a ganar. <risa> Use social networks. Le vamos a dar una pizca nada más de muestra. Eso lo probar. ¿Eh? Ahí. To share información. Um. Solo es. Sí, aunque yo también creo que en eso de comunicación entra también como cómo se va a distribuir interna la información. Que veo que dice que, que hablan como con el staff para seguir los pasos para, para saber armar el postrecito. La bebida. También podría ser como, hay promociones que dicen las primeras tantas personas. Sí, es verdad. Se ganan uno gratis, digámoslo así. Uno familiar. Como una dinámica en, en siempre en redes sociales. Porque, no sé, eso llama a personas. Y yo le podemos poner que el que traiga a la mamá de su mamá se lleva el postrecito. Las tres generaciones. Ajá. 
Sí, qué bárbaro, que les cueste conseguir a la gente. <ríe> Entre más personas, no, eso está bueno. Va, entonces. Y el que llega la mamá o la abuela. Ajá. <ríe> Puchi, que está. No, cuatro generaciones. <ríe> eso se lleva la comida gratis. About a dynamic about <laughs> pero esa dinámica se daría a conocer en redes sociales siempre and use sí. a dynamic o activity verdad promotion activity Mm.
Okay, uh, we're back again. So let's check your work. Let's see in number one, room number one, we have Abigail Mejia, Palmore Marroquín, Carlos Cotto, Carlos Humberto, Janet Angel, and Melanie. Would you like to share your action plan to introduce a new item to a fast food restaurant? Okay, teacher, I presentation my work. <laughs> okay, you will present your work. Nice, thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, with pictures and everything. Nice. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Those deserve delicious. Okay, permitíme, mi amor, solo voy aquí. Ok, no sé si alguien de los compañeros que estuvieron con nosotros quiere leerlo o lo leo yo. No, ok, lo voy a leer yo entonces. Ok, ay, oh, se puso lento. Bueno, bueno. Ok, ojalá no se quite. <risa> no, 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 no lo tocaré, ahí está. <risa> A new dessert, Sweet Illusion, is going to be introduced to the menu. The chef will create the recipe to, for the dessert, the manager approving of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. The dessert will be able during Mother's Days in a promotion that continues throughout May. Uh, the manager requested extra funding for this project. The dessert is made with sugar, chocolate, bananas, flour, and baking soda. And advertising, advertising board and staff will state in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduce, introduction of the drink. Uh, our strategies, the social network sites to share the information about your new products. About their, uh, our new product. Okay, excellent, you know, you, you are uh, very talented for this because just with a night suit illusion, I want to try it. <laughs> so just, you just need the name and this is very attractive. The name is so appealing, suit illusion. Did you invent it right now or is it a dessert that exists in another restaurant? Did you invent it? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. You did an excellent job. Congratulations. You included, uh, you cover all, you cover all. Now room number two, we have Francisco, Carla Ivania, Luis Javier, Magdiel, Mario, and Julissa. Okay, we can see your screen now. It's, it really looks appealing.
Yo lo voy a leer, teacher. Hola. Me escucha. Yes, now we can hear. Okay. Yes. Yes, thank you. Um we have a new salad. Will you dare to try it? We are going to introduce a new item on a menu. We are gonna give free food samples to customer. After that, they will have the option to make a survey about the new product. With that, we will be able to know if the new product will be successful. Successful, uh-huh. Okay, yes, that sounds like a good plan to give a free sample, but in order to avoid risk, make a, um, a survey about the new product, okay? So that sounds good, really good. Thank you so much for sharing. Now let's take a look to what room number three has done for us. It is Abigail Elisa, Cecia Ramos, Cristina Cerritos, Hazel, Catherine Beatriz, Marilina Alejandra, and Victor Bonilla. Hello, teacher. <laughs> eh, nosotros tuvimos problemas, la verdad, al principio. Por eso no tenemos imágenes. But uh, it's very similar to the first group. A new fruit dessert. It's going to be introduced to the a menu. Uh, number two, a baker create the receipt for the new mother fruit dessert. And number three, the dessert will be able uh, available. Available. Available during Mother's Day in a promotion that continues through May. For management of the restaurant request extra funding for this project. And number five for um, use social network site to share the information and use a din dynamic uh, the activity is about invite mother and grandmother to win a free dessert. I don't know. <laughs> mother and grandmother? To win a free dessert. Okay, sounds, <laughs> sounds really interesting. And I, I realized that you have covered everything in your action plan. So congratulations, everybody. I know that maybe at the beginning can be like difficult uh, to create, to produce our own ideas, but this, this is what um, these uh, sections are about, to make you think, to make you practice, to make you produce. And you did an excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation. It is really appreciated. Now, Let's check attendance for the second time tonight. I'm going to call your names. Please say present as soon as you hear. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. I'm here, teacher. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present. Present. Thank you, Valmore. Thank, Thank you, Carlos. Eh, Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present. Thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present. 
Hazel Panessa Menjiva. I'm here. Thank you. Janet Fernanda Cortez. Julissa Yamilet Pialta. Present teacher. Thank you. Katherine Beatriz Rivera Reyes. Present. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you. Magdiel Esaú García. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Mirna Janet Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina Cerritas. And Victor Noé Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Victor. Okay, today's one on one section is for Carlos Emilio. If you have any question and you can say after the class, that would be great. Um, let's see, Carla. Okay, Carla, ahorita va su mensaje. Ya la vamos a chequear aquí en, en el report. Okay, um, the, for the rest of you, we have covered a couple of new topics um, during uh, the first week of the module. Um, there are five, son cinco eh, semanas, ¿verdad? Ya casi, ya casi terminamos la primera. El lunes serían ya las cinco clases. Eh, nos faltarían cuatro semanitas más. Eh, Quisiera que vayan pensando o si de repente quieren que el día lunes repasemos algún tema específico de los que hemos visto en estos días anteriores. Is there any topic that you would like to review? We started with the comparatives, right? And we also have studied the fanboys. Teacher. Yes, Abigail. I, I want confusion, nor but yet so. Uh, okay. So you would like to review the fun boys and more exercises. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, anybody else? Yes, Carla Ivania says the same topic. Uh, fanboys. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm going to work on that. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to work on more exercise for you and more, more practice with fanboys. Uh, so um, I guess that you are okay with the other topics, right? The, the comparatives. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to continue sharing because there is another grammar, grammatical topic that we have here. And uh, well, it has uh, to do with the use of would and might. But I think that I'm going to... Have you practiced in this conversation? As you can see, in uh, we have a couple of phrases in bold, and it's you could discount. You might want to have. You could offer. So those two are modal auxiliaries, and we're going to be um, practicing with them. Uh, Right now, I think that we will just practice this conversation and for Monday, we will practice fanboys and also these two modal auxiliaries in a specific. Or would you like to study the rest of the modal auxiliaries? They are a lot.
Okay. Uh, let's see. This conversation is between Carla and Mr. Sanders. Let's read. Louis is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in that action plan, but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount and green pepper sticks that it never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to people who bought the ticket for the event. Oh my, I will carry, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free sample, but the, he isn't telling the people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, now that we read the conversation, is there any question about new vocabulary or pronunciation? Okay, I have something here in the chat. Okay, hook es enganchar. Enganchar a alguien, enganchar a alguien o enganchar algo. Atraparlo, como pescarlo. <laughs> Any other question? Okay, volunteers yeah. to role play. Teacher, when, when Carla says pizza is super spicy super is like a uh, bastante oh yes mm -hmm. okay o sea y se puede utilizar esa palabra así en inglés yes super okay thanks you're welcome volunteers to role play Cecia, thank you so much. Who wants to practice with Cecia? Me, teacher. Carla, thank you. Okay, I, I first. Uh -huh. I see two hands. Veo dos manitas, Cecia y Carla. Yes. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotion activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hope then, then up with the spicy Pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You may want to have a promotional activities close to a big event like a concert or a baseball, baseball game. 
you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Super good. <laughs> Excellent, you did a very nice job with this role play. Thank you so much, ladies. I heard someone, I don't know if it was Abby or Yulisa. Creo que escuché a una de ellas que dijo que quería hacer role play. Volunteers? No more volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Abigail, and who wants to help Abigail? Janet, thank you so much, Janet. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spite. Pizza to the pie. Pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but uh, we knew to say cost and get customer to try the new product. How about? How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call this comb, you green paper stick that never sell. The customer will get the green paper sticks and you hook then up with the spice pizza. I didn't think of that, so light I got the idea. You meet when to have a promotional activities close to a big event like uh, a concert or a baseball game. To call offer a a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my well, oh my, I will call you later. We is outside the restaurant giving free some, but he isn't telling people that pizza is super spicy. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for role play. You did a very good job. Just remember the word kind, kind, a new kind of a spicy pizza. Now, um, by looking at the conversation, um, how would you complete this sentence? You remember you, and then it says discount. As you can see here, the missing word is could. You can discount the green pepper, etc. So here we put could. You could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. And then number two, you. Do you remember? Could. You? Could. could. You could want? To have a promotional activity? Might. Yes, Catherine, might. You might want to have a promotional activity, etc., etc., etc. And then you at this offer a discount. Let's see, if you don't remember, you could. You could offer a discount. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing. Um, and well, I'm going to thank you for your uh, attendance to this video conference and for your participation as well. 
Uh, that will be it for today. I'm going to work on the review for the fanboys for Monday, and I will send you the presentation before the class. I wish that you have a very nice uh, weekend and see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Sleep well. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. Sleep well. Good night, teacher. Good night. Sleep well. Hi, Carlos. Thank you for staying. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? You tired? Hi, teacher. You're tired. ¿Cómo va con las clases? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? ¿Tiene algún comentario, alguna duda? Pues, para serle franco, me está costando este módulo. Eh, primero porque sí siento que el nivel ha aumentado bastante. Y lo otro es que también para conectarme me está costando bastante por otras actividades. Pero espero el fin de semana repasar un poco lo que se ha visto esta semana en base al material. Para poder agarrar un poco el, el ritmo de, de las clases. Uh -huh. Pero sí, sí, sí eh, lo siento ya un poco más complicado. Siento que le, le debo de dedicar mucho más tiempo para poder agarrar el hilo. Sí, la verdad que es eso, pues el, el nivel es más, entonces ya pues los temas van, son temas que quizás no se habían visto en otros eh, módulos anteriores son temas nuevos, sí. entonces tal vez también por eso los sienta como pesaditos, pero recuerda que esto es como se repite, luego van a, puede que repitan otra vez lo de las conjunctions más adelante, pero pues por ahorita eh, lo que vamos a hacer es practicar más, eh, de verdad espero que sí se ponga de, al día en el fin de semana, eh, vea tal vez algunos tutoriales y el lunes vamos a repasar las, las, las conjunctions que creo que era lo más difícil. Pero si usted siente necesidad de que repasemos los comparatives, lo podemos hacer, solo me dice. Para incluirlo sí. en el repaso del lunes. Si ¿Sí le parece que bueno, hagamos el repaso de los... Eh, si gusta, eh, voy, a, voy a repasar yo un poquito el fin de semana y ahí voy a ver eh, cómo, cómo lo percibo y yo le, le comunico. Sí. porque lo que no quisiera es tampoco que se vea algo que nada más yo me he quedado un poco atrás ¿vale? lo de, tal vez los demás este, están, están ya eh, con ese tema entonces prefiero repasarlo antes y ver si yo le, le comunico si, si veo necesario ok, perfecto entonces nada más sería el repaso con lo de los fanboys y bueno este poner eh, lo que se pueda de energía, ¿verdad? Yo sé que es súper cansado y todo, pero, pero si no participan, si no ponen de su parte, va a estar más difícil. Y esas son sí. cinco semanas, este módulo. Los intermedios sí, sí. son cinco semanas, así que pues... Ah, es, es una meter. semana más. Uh -huh. Sí. Bueno, eh, sí, hay que dedicarle más, más tiempo. En mi caso... En comparación a los módulos anteriores, percibo que debo dedicarle el doble de tiempo para lograr eh, establecer ahí un nivel como, como lo, lo merita este módulo. Uh -huh. Sí, también eh, hacer los ejercicios y participar, ¿verdad? Es importante. Sí. De acuerdo. ¿Algo más que desea agregar antes de que finalicemos la sesión? No, teacher, en realidad eso es lo que estoy en este momento sintiendo, que sí, 
debo de poner un poco más de esfuerzo para, para avanzar, ¿verdad? Porque sí, por ratos hasta dan ganas de, de no continuar por todas las otras eh, ocupaciones, pero, pero la perseverancia es, es buena. Sí, trate. Eh, pues si de repente siente que algo está muy difícil, siempre está la apertura pues, para que pidan que haga más eh, ejemplos. Está el chat por si les da pena participar así en, oralmente, les digo que lo hagan por lo menos escrito, ¿verdad? Eh, para poder ver eh, a dónde vamos a reforzar. Así es que pues ahí está invitado a participar de cualquier manera, pero que participe para saber si vamos bien o si, si necesita algo más, eh, algún ejemplo adicional, eh, que lo vuelva a explicar el tema. No tenga pena en decirlo. Porque eh, si se da cuenta, no es solo usted el que está sintiendo difícil el tema de los fanboys. El módulo anterior sí. nadie pidió repaso de nada. <risa> Pero ahora sí, entonces es prueba de ello. ¿verdad? No es solo sí. usted, no, no sienta pena de que va a atrasar al grupo tampoco. De acuerdo. Que Muchas para gracias, los que ya lo agarraron es práctica extra como para afianzar sí. más el tema. Entonces no, nunca es pérdida de tiempo ni atraso. De acuerdo, gracias. Eh, ¿Algo más que quiera agregar antes? Solamente, Tich. Ok, bueno, le agradezco su tiempo, yo sé que el viernes estamos súper cansaditos, así es que pues le deseo un feliz descanso y lo veo el lunes. Muchas gracias, igual, Tich. Good night. Good night. Bye.